It's very rare for a parent to bring their child to see a, a child surgeon, but there are instances where it, you, you might want to visit a child surgeon. So from from the uh, from offset, sometimes I meet uh, parents who've had uh, antenatal uh, scans, which show some cysts in the lung or cysts in the kidneys or cysts in tummies, which may need a further e evaluation once the child is born. So sometimes I, I meet those parents even before the child is born and we can give them idea of what to expect and uh, what investigations and subsequent management is, is required. So those are also a very rare situation and I'll give you a number often um, the, the numbers about of, of children uh, expected parents having something wrong with the child is about in a, a figure of one in five thousand so it's not very common for a, child, a parent who's carrying a child to have uh, anything abnormal with their, with their un, uh, unborn baby. But with those, so although it is very rare, what are, when those situations do occur, what are the, the common issues when it comes to a, a prenatal situation? Yeah. Yes, so the prenatal situations, uh, the commonness of all the situations would be problem with the kidneys. Problem with yeah, the kidneys. kidneys? Yeah, the water okay. pipes where there is a blockage in the water, the, the water the urine drainage from the kidney down to the bladder. And very rarely there might be obstruction in the bladder as well. So the, those, those are the common things that they pick up. And the, the thing about uh, antenatal diagnosis is that the scans are now so amazing. You can get a 4D scan, you can get a 5D scan, they can pick up very minor, minor details. But very often, those situations can improve themselves without any surgical intervention but it's important for them to be followed up after the child is born so often i reassure parents in this way so don't worry about the child now once the child is born we'll do serial scans and see what's happening yeah so they don't always require surgery right and a lot of them will just disappear the reason why it's picked up is because the scans are so good. In the past, we never used to pick up these things until there was a problem. Until there's a problem with the child, or there's a problem with, with passing urine, or tummy problem, or whether there's a distended tummy, or the child is vomiting. Those are all symptoms that uh, uh, may, may, may show up if there's a problem uh, with, with, with the tummy or the kidneys. But Nowadays we're picking up way before and sometimes we're picking up things that will just disappear with time. Yeah. Right. So what, what they come to see me for is for reassurance of what, what is to be expected. And also once it's, uh, when the child is born, we can go through uh, having had the child, having the, this, uh, and, uh, once the child is born, we do scans on the child directly. Right. Because when antenatally, what we're doing is that we are scanning through the mummy's tummy, through yeah. the mummy's uterus, through the baby's tummy, and to see what's happening. So they can be they can be very variable in what we find once the child is born. Right. But should once well, you said that often, more often than not, they tend to resolve themselves by themselves. But they resolve um, while the, before the child is born, or it can also resolve itself after the child is born? Yes, combination of both. Okay. So sometimes we see that the, 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 the condition is resolving as the child is getting more mature yeah. uh, in, in the uterus. Yeah. And subsequently, when we follow them up as well, they are often resolving as well. Fantastic. So the, what's important is to identify the ones that are not resolving. And if you have an early head up on what's happening uh, with the child, then we can treat uh, uh, you know, appropriately without causing significant issues or significant damage. For example, if the child has got a uh, dilated uh, cyst in the kidney or the kidney is not draining very well, then we can monitor because we don't want any damage to the kidneys. You're born with two kidneys and you want to go through the rest of your life with the two kidneys, yeah. both functioning well. So sometimes you, with, with a slightly dilated kidney, uh, you, you are predisposed to infections and we can just give simple measures such as antibiotics to prevent infections and as the child grows older the risk of infection is less and we can wean the child off antibiotics so the child may not re require surgery at all so just because you are referred to a surgeon doesn't mean the child requires surgery 
so because we 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 deal with it as minimally as possible uh, as as minimal intervention as possible and if required i'll do minor intervention and uh, very rarely we, we require any more than that